Welcome to Triage. And then grab it for you. Six hundred sixty. This is Margarita here and welcome back to my channel where we talk about sustainability and nature connection. Behind me here is Riash Wildlife Rehabilitation and Investigation Center that is located in Algarve, uh, southern Portugal. And this is our second stop on our month-long environmental adventure across the whole Portugal. For the next three days, we will be shadowing the team and learning everything about wildlife and conservation efforts here here and of course helping them to rehabilitate and release animals back into the wild. During our stay here we will be learning about native species that are living in this area and hopefully we'll get to see some eagles or owls or even hedgehogs. Do I need to check its cuteness level? 100%. Understand why they get here and what are the most common injuries and also what to do if you encounter an animal in the wild and also other tips to understand how to make our communities safer place for animals to coexist and thrive. Watch this video till the end and subscribe to my channel to join us for a release mission and also to learn how you can protect animals as well. RIAS is the Wildlife Rehabilitation and Investigation Center located in Algarve, south of Portugal. Chameleon, which is um, their symbol. This is the admission room. This is where the vet does all the like measurements and assessment and health checkups. And uh, yeah, this is where they give medications. And then there are several rooms over here where animals are kept. So this is this is the first room where they get in. Uh, then they spend here first 24 hours. At least, right? yes. At least 24 hours, just to make sure that they're doing okay. Here we have seagulls eating their lunch. And next one is definitely one of my favorite is um, another one we just received today, which was really exciting. And we were able to be part of that. There's another one of um, Eagle Owl. Yeah. <laughs> Huge thanks goes out to Jack Wolfskin for supporting this project and for creating the best gear for adventurers, explorers, and people who want to connect to nature. Check them out. Here, they rehab injured and sick wildlife, investigate their risk factors, and provide environmental education for the general public and youngsters. They're basically showing everyone the importance of biodiversity in this area. Can you name any animals that live in Portugal? How many can you name? Portugal is quite famous with birds, but there are not that many mammals living here, and Rias admits that Portuguese kids know African wildlife quite well. But what about in your own country? But what about animals in their own country? I know that some animals are less famous than others, but it does not mean that they're any less cool and any less important for biodiversity. It sing, when it sings, it sings chif, chif, oh chif, 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 chif. It chif. is so precious. It also comes all the way from uh, Northern Europe. Amazing. Seven grams of... Uh, yeah. Oh my no? god. Yes. Yeah. Ah, really? Are you hold it like this? Oh my god, it's so little. Then the other hand just like that. And then whenever you want. Oh my god. This is just a gift. The nature's gift. <laughs> it's got this little chif chif. Chif chif. And it's going back to all its chif chifers. Flamingo. Flamingo leg. This looks a little bit dry, but otherwise it's a flamingo. It's this is huge, and if you think this is huge, look at yeah. that. <laughs> Vulture and this? this is seagull. Seagull. It's when we found like this already. 
died, obviously, because he couldn't eat. Yeah. Completely stuck inside. Inside the stomach of a stork. And one, just one. Mm -hmm. Just one. Wow. Imagine having all of that in your stomach. We have to feed. Mm -hmm. So what happened to him again? He got shot. Yeah. I will show you the x-ray, have a fracture in the left wing. So was someone trying to hunt for a trophy or not for food, right? You can't eat that. No, to kill. Competence between the hunters and some animals that hunt the animals that the hunter wants for feeding, ah, you know? Oh, really? Okay. During our time here, in just under a week, Rias has received over 100 animals. We received owls, seagulls, blackbirds, hedgehogs, and the most impressive bird I have ever seen, eagle owl. Was there uh, dead ones? Dead ones. Few dead ones, few alive ones. His claws were honestly bigger than my fingers and eyes so brightly orange like a flashlight. Such an incredible, beautiful creature that also benefits us humans by killing large numbers of small rodents in our agricultural fields. Primarily, owls provide natural pest control for the environment. But do you know why it got here in the first place? Because it was shot. It's not going to kill, right? An animal. Sometimes I have found injured. sometimes uh, kill if because they are bigger. I have more here. It's a bullet that was inside of the eagle. There are people that think that they're in competition with predator birds, and without knowing enough about them, they think that they will hunt their prey, so they shoot them. It is sad and heartbreaking, but education is the key. So Rhea saves another life and goes back to educating the public about those animals and how great they are for us humans. I have the fracture here. So I just want to tell in the best way possible that... So first they got shot here, bullets inside. Yes. Like go, okay? So here there's one and this one maybe go in and out with a pin. Uh, metallic inside. Oh, wow. You know, and then it's together again. Police, they will come in tomorrow. Because this is forbidden, so we tell the police uh -huh. everything, and, and they do. And they investigate yeah. who? Okay. So what could police do? Would they do anything? Not so much, not so much. Because you can't find the person, the, the gun. It's not like the bullet guns that, the, that you can see in, in the movies, mm -hmm. that they found the specific gun. This here is not possible. I have a great news for you guys. We have been in touch with the team and now it has been three months since we filmed this video and we learned that this eagle owl has now been successfully released healthily and happily back into the wild. And by the way, we also participated in the release of the bird that is no less exciting. Seguriti? Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm holding a duck. <gasps> very special moment, very special day. Oh my god, it's hard beating so fast. It's okay, you are going to be released. The tag, yeah, so they put the tag in the ring and all that information goes into a scientific base in Portugal. So wherever this duck goes, it can be tracked uh, by bird watchers and uh, other scientists. Okay, one, two, three, go duck! <laughs> <gasps> oh, nice! I have been working with the wildlife for seven years and I have been releasing many animals back into the wild, including birds, penguins, sloth, rhinos, and this time, European duck. It is an incredible feeling to see an animal return back into the wilderness. It is where they belong. They don't need us. Nature works its own course, but we can share this pleasure of being around animals by doing good things to them. It feels amazing. Doing good things for the planet feels amazing. Of course, there is a good part when you release, and that's the part that people usually see, and they say, oh, your job is wonderful. But the bad part when you receive an animal in a really bad state because someone did something wrong. The reason why they arrived 
here that is mostly for humans. And sometimes it's an accident, sometimes it's on purpose, but it's always us behind. We have a lot of trauma, uh, traumatic injuries like fractures or wounds uh, because of shotguns or hit by a car, sometimes the windows or electrocuted. And you know what else goes into the release? Hard work, sweat, dedication, money, time, efforts, team, and death. Yes, that's right. One of the most important steps of the release is checking if the animals are able to hunt in the wild. This is the area of all the outside cages. This is kind of like the last stop before animals are getting are released. released. Yeah. This, this is where you test how well they can adapt, how well they can fly. Feeding them live mice is a important um, step before they're getting released. Owl is getting close to release date. They want to see how it can hunt in the wild. So now we're about to release a live mouse. So we just put the mice into the owl enclosure and we're not going to stay to see the process, but at this point it's pretty obvious what's about to happen because you cannot escape from this enclosure. And this is a very sad part, <laughs> but unfortunately it's very important because this is one of the ways how you can tell that the animal is ready for the release is if they're able to kind of like hunt in the wild. So unfortunately in this case you have to sacrifice someone's life for another life to go back into the wild. Seagulls, you also have to clean after them. Clean their little smelly poops. That's what we love. Oh. Right, so put. And he just supposed to stay there? Yep. Okay. 660. Oh, nice. He's so soft and fragile. That's okay. Is this too big? Yeah, maybe take another one. A little one for you? No. It's nice. It's delicious, my friend. Okay. Investigation is another important aspect of what they do here. Here they receive diseased wild animals, endangered or special concern species, so they can determine the cause of death and try to predict risk factors for the wild populations. They do research, studies, track of wild populations and connect and collaborate with environmental organizations around the world that all work on the same mission of conserving wildlife. Here is what to do if you encounter sick or injured wildlife, and not just in Portugal, anywhere in the world, straight from the wildlife experts. Never try to pick up the animal and uh, take home, if, even if it's a baby that you find. First thing is to watch from a distance and try to understand if it's safe to catch the animal or if it's, it's better to call the authorities right away. Use a towel to protect yourself and find um, a card box and take it out of the danger. With some holes for him to breathe and everything the right size. You can bring the animals to the wildlife rescue center or give it to the near police station. Three plates. Okay, okay. all of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you so much to Rias for hosting us for the last three days and for allowing us to see behind the scenes of their incredible and very exhausting work. What a crazy week and adventure it was to be working for this rehabilitation center. We had so much fun. Stay tuned for part two to see even more exciting footage and to discuss what else goes into saving wildlife. Trust me, you'll be excited to see this stuff. So go ahead and subscribe my channel and I'll see you here next week. Bye! This is a duck. <laughs>
I'm not afraid. <laughs> I'm gonna gag. We've run away with this. 